Augustinian vocations, the spirit to make a difference. The main thing is to recognize who we are. You know, there was a feeling that there's a way for me to be more whole. That's all, the only way I can explain it. It's always been there. I felt like there was something missing. That void, that sense of something more, is never ultimately going to be filled except with a relationship with God. I just feel like the more and more I'm with the Augustinians, the more and more I'm, I'm myself. I'm more Joe now than I was 13 years ago. And don't have to give up being who Joe is in the process. I feel like I'm doing what I was meant to do. To be with new people, to be in those new relationships, to find out who I am. I, mean, I don't have it figured out yet, so, but I know that I'm now living a life that's gonna help me do that. We don't sacrifice our personalities in order to serve. We allow God to work through us. I realize this is the place that where I need to be because the genuine love that the guys have. Now, there's a prayer that I pray every day. I think it's wonderful. It's, God, help me to share with the world today the person that you created me to be. The way that the Augustinians shared their life in common and also ministered to the needs of the people of God were two very attractive features for me. The Augustinians are about community, about strengthening community wherever we go, about building community up wherever we go. What we're really getting at is that sort of bond that connects us and the fellowship that exists amongst us. Our life together can help me to live my life to the fullest. The Augustinian way of life can offer to our church an example of when community life works. Because we're living together in a Christian community, we come together for prayer every day. We're going to allow God to work on us in the stillness, in the silence, in contemplation. And then we take the gifts that God gives us in those moments, and then we take that into the world. You know, we give up a lot, but we gain an awful lot in the process, too. This is the greatest miracle of religious life. We are able to care and love for each other, not necessarily to think and to look exactly the same. It was like we call it formation because we're being formed into Augustinians. The Augustinian formation is a journey in that you do things that you never thought you'd do in your life. I'd say it's valuable and critical because that call doesn't come from us. Formation helped me discover that the Augustinian way of life is a constant search and discovery of our relationship with God through one another. To go to the core of who we are. The, the formation process was indispensable. It was just absolutely indispensable to my formation as a man, to my formation as a human being, let alone my formation uh, as a priest. My formation years, although long, was a slow process of trusting in the slow hand of God that God was asking me to be a priest. The actual degree we receive would be the Master of Divinity. I really would like, to, would love to see uh, more uh, young people be interested in the total way of life as an Augustinian. There's a yearning in our world, a spiritual yearning, that uh, people, if they looked, they might be surprised with what they find. We learn how we can continue to grow in different ways. So I think the future is exciting. I mean, the church is changing, faith is changing, cultures are always changing, but we're a part of that. You know, we're right there. The mission is no mine, it's ours. To find out more about becoming an Augustinian friar, go to augustinianvocations.org. To support Augustinian vocations and formation, go to augustinianfund.org or call 610 527-3330, extension 265.